Hey, Rockford Courtney here. And Jake. And today is National Pumpkin Day, so we thought we would. Well, not today. Well, yes, it is. I mean, I guess when they're seeing this. Is going this. Live, yes. It's, it's National But Pumpkin. today, right now. Right. We had to prepare. Oh. Yeah. Wait, we prepare? I mean, when it comes to Jack, we do. Jack the Pumpkin. Yes, we thought we would introduce you to. Not to be confused with Jack the Pumpkin King. No. Two very different entities. Yes. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Pumpkin Day! Yes, National Pumpkin Day. Happy Pumpkin Day. This is our Pumpkin Jack, and we thought we would show Jack around this wonderful city of Rockford since we want him to have a wonderful National Pumpkin Day, and you can't start any adventure around Rockford without coffee. That's true. So we are going to introduce our pumpkin child to our personal favorite addiction. Coffee. Coffee. Are you ready for an adventure, Jack? Don't worry, Jack. There's no pumpkin in this coffee. It's okay. <laughs> okay, Jack. We are at our first stop. Yep. Where are we? Midway Village Museum. Yes. And what is so important about Midway Village Museum? You can tell by this background and the scenic bridge behind us. Yes. Uh, it is Rockford's History Museum, Jack. It sure is. And they have a lot of cool stuff that goes on here. They do. And they have an entire village. An entire village. And not One just village. any village. A Victorian village. Yes, with Victorian people. Yes, and they actually transported them from the past yes. into the present. They have time with machines. With their se secret time machine that's hidden in the back. Yes. Don't ask me how I know about a secret time machine, but it's back there. Have we seen it? We won't tell. We won't tell. Yeah. This is a very <laughs> cool place, Jack. So I'm glad you were able to experience it on your special day. Yes. On to the next adventure. On to the next. All right, Jack. We're at spot number two. <laughs> And it's in Japanese gardens. Yes. You can tell by the fancy orange stickers that we have. We even got Jack a nice matching sticker. Yes, but there are waterfalls and ponds and koi fish and very hospitable ducks. Are they? They are very hospitable. That's good. Yes. Will they talk to Jack? They probably will. Jack, you can come here and talk to ducks, but also see very beautiful trees and flowers and the waterfalls, like Faith said. Anderson Japanese Gardens is a fantastic place to come, especially in the fall, which is your time of year, because you have all of these pretty colors. Yes. So we had to bring you here, Jack. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, Jack. This is symbol. We? It's us. It's us. The end. Onward. Onward. Behind us, we have the Nicholas Conservatory. This is a, another great place to come if you're looking for a great tour around Rockford, and it's part of a bigger system of awesome things about this town that we live in. Yeah, the Rockford Park District. Yeah. Like, in case you didn't know, they have a ton of properties all over the city. Nicholas Conservatory is one of them, uh, and they do a great job of bringing nature fun for the outdoors for little pumpkins like you, Jack. Yes, between parks and different attractions. I mean, you just got to check out them all, really. Yeah. But we figured this it's was like a, collecting Pokemon. Yeah, we figured this was a great place to tell you about them. And behind the conservatory, there's a nice rose garden that you can take a walk through, especially in the fall. And a pond. Yes. That you can do ice skating in in the winter. You can. So all the things. Do you ice skate, Jack? Should we get some ice skates to put on you? <laughs> hmm. hmm. Interesting thing to ponder. Yes. Onward. Onward. All right, Jack. We couldn't take you on a tour of Rockford without coming downtown. Gotta come downtown. Yeah. Here we are on Main Street, and if you do want to put some ice skates on, that is great news because a couple of blocks behind us, we Just have the BMO Harris Bank Center, my second home, <laughs> which is the home of the Rockford Ice Hogs. We also have the brand new Embassy Suites and yes. rooftop uh, restaurant down that way. What we have a bunch of restaurants downtown? and coffee shops. We have a whole museum district down here what? with a natural history museum and a kids museum and an art museum and a dance company and a whole lot more. And then just on the other side of the river is a ton more of great Rockford things. So there's tons yeah. of stuff to do in just a few short blocks. Uh, so yeah. And there's Clem Arboretum. Yep. And Tinker Swiss is around. All there's the things. So many things so to do. So many things to do. So yeah, definitely come down to the downtown Rockford. We're very grateful that we could show you this wonderful part of our city, Jack. Yes, we might have to and put some roller skates on you so you can skate around downtown here. It's a very efficient mode of travel, yes. It is, for sure. And akin to ice skates as well. Or you could get a skateboard at Ground Floor Skateboards and then ride around downtown. There you go. So many different options. All the options. <laughs> All right, on to the next spot. Next stop. We went a little further north down Main Street. A little bit. We passed Coronado Theater and all the museums. museum park, all the museums, and now we're at North End. What else we got down here? We have the Norwegian Olympic Tavern. We have Ratskeller Rockford, which now has new owners, so that's they should exciting. be opening up soon. So that's super exciting. Do you like German food? You like German food? Probably. Probably. Pumpkin, right? Uh, and yeah, there's a ton of other stuff over here on the northwest side of town. 
and um, during great the historic summer, there's neighborhoods. North End Market. Yes, North End Market, Tour to North End at the Olympic Tavern. Yes. There's Nickel World if you're in the mood for arcade games there, Jack. I don't know how you play them because no hands or thumbs. It's okay, Jack. Maybe I'll he'd be you. really good at Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Only one way to find out. Yeah. Plus, they just recently beautified the whole north side of Main Street here. They did. It's very, very nice. Yes. So, so if it's been a while stroll. since you've been on the north end, come on through the roundabout, check out some of the local restaurants and shops. It's a great part of our city. Uh, and yeah, and you can even drive through and tour some of the historic neighborhoods out here, too. So Yeah, exactly. So this is a great side of town to visit, Jack. Yep. So we had to bring you down. We had to bring you here. All right. On to the last Onward. place. Last place. All right, Jack. After all that adventuring, we figured you were hungry. Yes. So it was a brief tour. There are way too many awesome places to visit, but we are hungry. We know you are hungry. Clearly. So now, where are we? We're at Beeparoo. Not me. <laughs> yes, there are way too many good options, but who doesn't love a good cheddar fry? Who doesn't? Yeah. Communists, that's who don't. Exactly. So we had to bring you to the one and only Beeparoo where you can get the best cheddar fries. Yep. Objectively so. Yes. So we're here on the West uh, on the West Auburn location, and yeah, time for food. Time for food. All I right, hope Jack. you enjoyed your tour, Jack. We enjoyed taking you around. I hope you all enjoyed <laughs> this tour with our wonderful friend Jack here. He's a nice little pumpkin. Yes. Thank you so much to all of our business sponsors and our Rockford Buzz backers who make it possible for us to meet Jack, become friends with him, and take him on a wonderful tour around our town. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you to all those people and thank you for tuning in if you stuck with us this long. I don't know, uh, but we'll see you on the flip side, Rockford. Bye. Bye.